All right, a little card here that we got. Dear Brian and family, thank you so much for your ministry. You have helped me so much. I am hopeful you can give me guidance or point me to where I can find more explanation on Revelation 20, verse 7. I am struggling to understand why Satan is loosed after being defeated and put in prison for the thousand years. In my simple mind, uh, just leave him locked up. <laughs> uh, in advance, I appreciate you, uh, your time and thoughts on this verse. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I love how you said that. Just leave him locked up. Yeah, I agree. But uh, there's a reason the Lord does it. Uh, Revelation chapter 20. Let's go there. Revelation chapter 20 and verse 1. We'll start there. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. And the question comes up, okay, he's bound there. Why would you... You know, release him again. Well, because God's going to give man one more opportunity to accept or reject the counsel of Satan. And the thing you have to understand is that God, while he's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, God does not, is not ever said, I'm going to save everybody, I love everybody just the same and whatever. No, that's not true. Uh, that's not the God of the Bible. Uh, the God of the Bible selects a very you know, um, a very, uh, I don't know, how would I say the word here, um, um, unique group of people or something like that. Um, there are qualifications that you have to meet in order for God to save you. You have to be a sinner. You have to humble yourself. Come before the Lord. Believe. Have faith. You know, and then He will give His grace to you. And most people don't want to do that. And so God just simply says, okay, Forget it. You know, Jesus Christ, when he was here on the earth, he said, I'm speaking to the masses in parables that seeing they might not see and hearing they might not understand and be converted and I should heal them. You know, there are a lot of people the Lord just says, I don't have time for you because you don't have time for me. So if the Lord just said, okay, Satan's bound at the beginning, be, beginning of a thousand years and I'm just going to go the whole way through and Satan never comes back. Well, then the people that are born in that time would say, I don't understand, you know, what's the deal with this, these stories I've heard about and, and whatever else, what's evil and, and whatever. God gives them another chance at the end of it to accept or reject what Satan tells them. Let's see about that. Verse 7, And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out, shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. Satan's very good at deceiving people. You learn that. <laughs> and they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about and the beloved city, and fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. So think about this for a minute. Thousand-year kingdom. You get the people who are born in that time, I've never seen anything about Satan. I've never been tempted by Satan. And you get up to the great white throne judgment, and they say, oh, there's Satan. Oh, and he's being cast into the bottomless pit. I don't, I don't understand. What did he do? You know, They'd have no knowledge of that. But you get people that are there, and they're given the opportunity to accept Jesus Christ. He's over there in Jerusalem, physically, present on the earth. We as saints are ruling and reigning with him. And the people are going to reject us and say, I, you know, I've decided to follow Satan. No turning back. And they do that. They are deserving of the lake of fire. Satan goes in and then they are judged and they go in. And so God is completely just. God gives everybody a chance. God doesn't say, I'm going to force these people to receive Satan's you know, deception that he's bringing. The people get to make that decision for themselves. Those that make it go into the lake of fire. Final judgment there. That's why the Lord looses Satan out of the prison a little bit there towards the end of the thousand-year kingdom. All right? And uh, we'll understand it all by and by. Okay? You can still say, well, I don't know. I, I, the Lord has it all worked out. I remember the story of a little boy in a Sunday school that my mother was teaching years ago. 
at one of the Baptist churches that we went to. My parents went to a lot of different churches. I was not raised Baptist. Um, Non-denominational is what I was raised, and then they went Methodist, and then they went Baptist, and then I don't know what my mother is now. Um, but uh, she told the story of this little boy, and they were saying, you know, the question was for the children, um, you know, what can you say something about heaven? What do you think heaven is going to be like? And there was this little farm boy, and he's just sitting there quiet. And she said, what about you? What do you think? And he said, Jesus is there. I don't have to worry about anything. Jesus is there. That's the right response. Um, I wonder about this, and I wonder about that, and I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I don't need to know anything about it. Jesus is there. He'll take care of it. You know, Jesus is there, thousand-year kingdom. He'll take care of it. He knows what he's doing, you know. So, uh, good question. We'll see you in the next video.